The Saturn V, a towering emblem of human spaceflight, commands attention with its soaring height of 363 feet and its colossal weight of 6 million pounds. Comprising three distinct stages and accommodating the Apollo spacecraft, the Saturn V's most prominent feature is undoubtedly its first stage, powered by the formidable F-1 engines. Yet, amid this grandeur, it's the often overlooked J-2 engines nestled within the second and third stages that deserve our focus. In this detailed discourse, we will unravel the intricacies of the J-2 engines that powered the Saturn V's upper stages, highlighting their vital role in the Apollo missions. Let's commence with an overview. Classified as Hydrolox engines, the J-2 engines excelled in efficiency, particularly in the vacuum of space. Their design precision, undertaken by Rocketdyne and initiated in 1959, positioned them as reliable workhorses in space exploration. Following the green light in 1960, Rocketdyne embarked on production to cater to the growing needs of the Apollo program. The engines took flight on February 26, 1966 aboard the AS-201 mission. A total of five J-2 engines propelled the Saturn V's second stage, while the third stage featured one engine. The distinctive feature of the J-2 engine lies in its capacity for restarts in space, an attribute pivotal for maneuvering the Apollo moonship on its intricate lunar course. Transitioning to more technical specifics, the J-2 engine's thrust stood at an impressive 232,250 pounds in, vac in vacuum conditions and 109,302 pounds at sea level. Employing the gas generator cycle, a conventional method in ro rocket engine design, the engine diverted a fraction of fuel and oxidizer to a gas generator. This gas generator, resembling a mini rocket engine, powered pumps that supplied the main combustion chamber with fuel. Notably, the engine operated at a chamber pressure of 763 psi. Scrutinizing performance metrics, the J2 engine exhibited an outstanding specific impulse of 421 seconds in vacuum conditions, a substantial increase compared to its 200 seconds at sea level. With dimensions measuring 11 feet in height and a diameter of 6.8 feet, the J-2 engine was relatively compact, weighing in at 3,942 pounds. Employing regenerative cooling, a sophisticated mechanism involving propellant circulation through the nozzle's channels, the engine effectively managed its, managed its temperature during operation. Turning our attention to the historical context, the contract for the development of the J-2 engine was awarded to Rocketdyne in June 1960, a significant milestone for the renowned engineering company. This very firm would go on to carve a prominent niche by crafting the RS-25 engines for the space shuttle and NASA's ambitious SLS rocket, designed to carry humanity back to the lunar realm. Within an astonishing two months of the contract's ink drying, the first injector materialized, paving the way for the prototype's successful 252nd test in 1962. Production operations commenced in May 1963, a mere three years prior to the Saturn 1B's historic launch in 1966. The saga of the J-2 engine's contributions to space exploration unfolds dramatically throughout the Apollo program, propelling astronauts towards the moon's surface with unwavering reliability. This legacy continued with the design of the J-2S, an upgraded iteration envisioned for later Apollo missions. Distinguished by the adoption of a tap-off cycle, this version ingeniously harnessed hot gases directly from the primary combustion chamber, marking a departure from the conventional gas generator cycle. The J-2S underwent rigorous testing between 1965 and 1972, Yet the program's conclusion saw it cast aside as the Saturn V project came to a close. The influence of the J-2 engine reverberated through conceptual models like the Comet Heavy Lift Launch Vehicle, a progressive iteration of the Saturn V, and experimental designs like the J-2T, a tantalizing prospect that envisioned a toroidal combustion chamber. Equally noteworthy was the J-2X, tailored for the Constellation program's Ares V rocket. This modernized variant underwent rigorous testing, offering a glimpse into a realm of possibilities. Regrettably, these visions did not materialize, but the echoes of the J-2 engine's potential resonate still. 
In summary, the J2 engine stands as a triumph of engineering excellence, pivotal in propelling humanity towards the lunar expanse. As we conclude this journey through time and technology, consider extending your engagement by subscribing to this channel, a platform committed to fostering understanding and appreciation for the marvels of space exploration. Our gratitude accompanies you as you reflect upon the indelible mark left by the J2 engine on humanity's celestial aspiration.